right? Shalom, shalom. Shalom. Right? We the Hebrew Israelites. Week in, week out, we come out to let our people know who they are according to the scriptures. The true biblical Israelites, okay? Right. Consists of the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, right? Okay? And we serve our power, okay? Who goes by the name of Yahweh, okay? Yahweh meaning he is, he exists, all right? The name of his only begotten son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, right? His name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai, meaning he, the deliverer, he's salvation, right? Okay? And he's coming back for his people, okay? He only died for his people, okay? He's preparing a place for his people, right? Okay, and we also come out and prophesy, okay, against this wicked nation we call Babylon the Great, all right, in the scriptures. Okay, spiritual Sodom, spiritual Nineveh, spiritual uh, um, Egypt, all right? So here we are again, another week, all right? Before we get started, we'd like to give glory and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, we come to Okay, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the 144 out there, okay, who are listening and learning. Okay, the men and women who are listening and learning also, right? Shalom, shalom. Right? We're about to get into it. Lord willing, this is edifying, right? They bring that uh, Jeremiah 51 out. All right. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 50. And verse 1, the word that the Lord spake against Babylon and against the land of the Chaldeans by Jeremiah the prophet, declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard, publish and conceal not. Right. So the Most High said publish and conceal not. Okay. So that's why... His men are on the highways and byways because we ought to publish this truth everywhere, right? Yep. When you make a video, all right, or you are reading these scriptures and you're telling these prophecies, you are publishing, okay, this truth, all right? Whether it be live or, or, or via video, okay, a sit down, or, or, or you on the highways and byways, that's what you're doing, publishing it. Right? You're making it known to our people as well as the heathens. Right? And that's what the Lord commanded his men to do. Week in, week out, day in, day out, night, day, we are, are, are to be publishing this truth everywhere. Because we don't know who the, who the uh, elect is, right? So that's why we got to do this work repeatedly. Okay? Day in and day out. Right? With consistency, man. Our elders said we supposed to do this day in and day out, just like the scriptures say, all right? So if you're on the sidelines and you know this truth and you're not publishing this truth, man, hey, 10 to 1, you probably not of the elect, man, right? I got a precept for you. Kind of, go ahead. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. So that's commanded by the Heavenly Father. You know, to give it to the men, the ancient men on down to us today, which we are our father. Right? You know, come out here and tell what Jacob their sins and their transgressions. Tell them their sins, come back to the fold for the ones that can heal. And also to tell the enemy that it's he can ready to lose his king. Right. You know? Let him know his judgment according to the scriptures, man. Thus saith the Lord, not us. Okay, we just the messengers right. that deliver, okay, and publish this truth. Right? And it's according to the scriptures. It's, it's not our vain opinions. Right. We're reading straight from the scriptures, man. There's no other book like this, man. No other book can tell you what's going to happen from the beginning, okay, about the end. Right? Because the Lord is a man... Of uh, 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 war, right? And he tells you judgment, okay, 
from the beginning, okay, to the end, okay? He tell you the judgment that's gonna happen if you don't comply to his commandments in the beginning, right? I got a picture of this man said nothing compared to this book. God. It's Isaiah 34 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord. Okay, they didn't say any other book. They said the book of the Lord. Okay, you got the majority of you Israelites that don't subscribe to the Bible. They, what, what do you hear? Right. Bible is a, is a white, white man, man book. That's that's that the age. Hey, why you gonna get that much credit to the to the devil, man? The serpent, the deceiver. He ain't got this kind of intellect, man. He ain't got this. You know, he don't go. He don't believe. It's not in his spirit to believe in the Bible. Right. Okay. It say, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read. None of these shall fail. Okay. Now, what is that we're going into the prophecy? None shall want her mate, for my mouth have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. Okay. Right. You know, and guess what? This word is gathering the elect. Right. You know, from the four winds of the earth. You got brothers teaching in all kinds of countries, man. Right. All over the world, all around the four corners of the earth. Because why? 24-7. We've been scattered. Seven. Seven. We've know? been scattered. You know? And, and when he say... My mouth has commanded it. Who, who's his mouthpiece? Prophet. See what I'm saying? Who's his mouthpiece? Dude? You gotta recognize, hey, the most high ain't gonna come down here by, you know, in, in, in person and tell you. Okay, if that was the case, he would have did that in, in, in ancient times. Right. But he sent messengers. He sent men right. that had his spirit to, to tell what he wanted and what he, he, he had for the people. For his people to, you know what I'm saying, to follow after, man. Hey, the Lord is, is, is a terrible sight to, to behold, man. Right. Okay, when he, when when you, Moses was at, at, at the mountain, okay, and the people was there with him, and they saw all that lightning and thunder and shaking, you know, earthquake, and, mm. you know, they they were scared. They told Moses, like, man, you know what? You, you go talk to him, and then you come back and tell us what he say. You know, we we don't we too scared, man. We right. we we ain't with that. We don't want no smoke. You know what I mean? So 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 that's to show you, man. You don't you don't you y'all y'all Jakes don't really want the most high to come down here and talk to y'all personally, man. Y'all don't want that. Mm -hmm. So he sends men out right to talk to you. That's his mouthpiece, man. Yep. Yeah. Got more. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Go back to Jeremiah. Go back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 50 and 2. Back in Jeremiah. Declare ye among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Baal is confounded. Right. So publish this among the nations. Okay. Because like the brother said, we are scattered. Okay. Everywhere. Okay. Looking like all kinds of other nations, Moabites, Ammonites, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Hamites, Ishmaelites, yeah. okay, Jake is everywhere. Yeah. So, being that the Most High was the one that scattered us, he said, publish this amongst the nations, tell it to everybody, because right. you don't know where the elect is, right. okay? Only the Most High knows where the elect is, okay? So you gotta publish it everywhere. Right. That's why we're on the internet. Okay, the scriptures say the sound going forth throughout the earth, right? There's no place that you can go where the internet does not exist right now. Okay, you may have little pockets where it's hard to get reception, but for for the most part, the internet is everywhere, right? So these publications, okay, these uh, um, letters that we publish, okay are going out throughout the entire world, man. Everywhere they, the elect is, is, is uh, dwelling. Yep. Right? I got a picture. Yeah. All right. This is the book of Matthew, quick precept, 28 and 19. Go ye, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. Right. So it said, go ye and, and teach all nations. Now we know that it's not talking about the heathen, because Yahweh said, go not 
into the way of the, the, way of the heathen. So that's not a contradiction. You got to under you got to get understanding of what is he talking about when he said the nations, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I just I just said it. We're scattered everywhere. Mm -hmm. So he's just talking about the he the the Israelites right. who are scattered throughout the, the the nations, man. That's all he's saying. Come on, bring that out again, bro. Matthew 28 and 19. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Right. So that's different entities, right? But they're part of the same order. You see? You, you can't have the Father being the Son and the son being the father at the same time. That, that just don't even make no sense. Right. The Most High has an order, right? And under that order are his men. Right. They come out and publish this truth to y'all, man. Day in and day out, week in and week out, year after year, month after month. Okay? We don't take no breaks, man. Right. We don't take no breaks, man. Scriptures don't 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 tell you Jeremiah took a break. Hmm. Nah, he was out there. Yeah. You got guys that do that. They take a whole year off. Hey, when it get cold, you don't see them out here in the streets. Hey, tell walk up to your employer. Walk up to Esau and tell him, yeah, yeah, I'm taking a break, man. I, I need a break from work. You won't get paid, man. He'll look at you and tell you, all right, see, I I hired somebody else. Mm -hmm. You see? So imagine you saying that to the king of the universe that put his spirit into you to know this truth. You're going to tell him, oh, I'm taking a break. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be back for a year. Yeah, break train in the script. Hell no. All right. I got to put a push up for that. Right. So rock two and two, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Okay. Hey, it say what? Constantly endure. There ain't no break in there. Constantly, back to back. All right? You shouldn't be taking no three months off, no whole year off. Hell, if I take any more than a week off, or two weeks, I don't even feel right. Right. You know? You know? I, I be eager to get back out here, man. Right. You know, because the Lord can destroy you, man. And those are signs that the Spirit ain't with you. Right. You taking two and three weeks a month off, the Spirit is leaving you. Hey, even David, you know what I'm saying? David always, you know, he had he had uh, uh, this thing. He said, um, you know, he asked the Most High, hey, why you feel so far away from me? Hmm. You know what I mean? Like the Most High was with him, but he he asking the Most High, why why do you feel so far away from me? Mm -hmm. That's how that's what the brother is, is, is just describing, man. Mm -hmm. Like it feel like the Most High is distant from you. Yeah. You need to be in his presence. Right. And how we get in his presence? To teach the word, man. Right. Okay, to study these scriptures, man. Yeah. To make these videos for y'all, man. To educate and, and, and edify the, the elect, man. Yeah. Uh. That's how you, you feel near and dear to the most high, man. Mm -hmm. And it's for your benefit. Right. You got more on that? Nah, this shit on there. All right, go back. All right, so hey. Uh, finish up on Jeremiah 2, 50 and 2. Declare you among the nations and publish and set up a standard. Publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken. Uh, Baal is confounded. Okay, Merodach is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded. Her images are broken in pieces. Okay. All right, you got you. You want to move? Well, you know. This is a future prophecy that's going to happen yeah. really soon. Right. Because this devil, this so-called white man, okay, who is the 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 earthly counterpart part to the spiritual demon Satan, uh -huh. okay, and he is carrying out, you know, all the things that the most high once done on the left yeah. hand side, right? The men of the Lord are carrying out the things on the right hand side. Okay, while the spiritual demon Satan is ruling on the left hand side, and his minions are his so called white man, right? Yeah, and they, guess what? The elites they go to uh private, you know, uh 
gatherings and they 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 pray to Satan. They light candles and do rituals and exactly. pray to Satan. Exactly. They let you know that they're the uh, the, the, the seed of Satan, man. They, they come in the They don't of, take no breaks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, you say they. Ooh, it's say uh that they don't get no sleep in Michael too. God, you bring that out. God, I, I get you know what I'm saying too. because hey, the devil don't sleep. You know what I'm saying? He 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 wake up thinking about wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it, the scripture said uh, in, in, in the time of Noah, all man's thoughts was about evil, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't take no breaks. Mm -hmm. Got that? Then Michael 2 and 1? Yeah. Michael 2 and 1, woe to them that e that devise iniquity. And that MOTB plot plan is an a, a, a evil device, man. An evil plan, a plot. Okay? And work evil upon their bed. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Okay. Morning is light. They practice it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? When you practice something, what? You do it over and over and over and over. You make it perfect. You know what I'm saying? They have a saying, practice makes perfect, right? Yep. That's why the men of the Lord don't stop. Okay. We do this day in and day out because we're trying to master the craft, man. Okay, we're trying to do this day in and day out. Yeah. We got to be just as good on the right hand side as Esau is on the left hand side. Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah kind of. Proverbs four sixteen. But they sleep not, except they have done and missed you. Man. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna read that again for they Proverbs four and sixteen. But they sleep not. Except they have done mischief. This man can't even go to sleep until he did his share of mischief. He got a quarter of mischief he got to perform each day. Yeah. And you he know ain't right in the head if he don't meet that quarter. <laughs> he ain't right in the head. He, he don't want to. Uh, he want to stay up, man. They sleep, flee from them because they want to make sure that all they plots yeah. are right on point. Hey, these, these devils, they diligent on the left-hand side. Diligent as hell, man. You know what I'm saying? Because they plot is to destroy every last one of us. Hey, because you think that he could keep this thing going as long as, as, as he has? You're talking about hundreds of years at this point. Right. This man has been practicing deceiving us, you know, uh, 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 stealing, killing, destroying. You think all these things, you know, he's doing, he can continue to do this and, and take breaks? And then you got a nerve to speak proud against the most high, as if you could control. Hey, the scripture already said he has set the bounds. Ah, Joe. You know what I'm saying? What is that, Joe, what, uh, uh, 14, I believe? I'm, I might be, you know. But it say his bounds are, are, are already, you know. He you already set his yeah, bounds. Yeah. You know, you can't go past the time period. Hey, when the Lord, when you get down to that last hour, right? Hey, your house shot gonna jump up and come back, and, and guess what? Your whole kingdom is gonna go down, right? You know, Proverbs four sixteen. But they sleep not, except they have done mischief, and their sleep is taken away, unless they cause some to fall. You see that they sleep or taken away, they not gonna go to sleep. Unless they come up with their plan to a T. Okay? Got it. Okay. I'm going to bring out the scripture real quick. This is 2nd Esdras 6. And I'm going to start at 8. Um, I'm going to start at 9. It says, For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Right? Like the brother said, there's a certain point okay in this aeon this age this rulership okay that it has to come to an end the most high set a bound like okay past 2030 this white man is not going to be ruling no more okay now I'm, I'm not saying 2030 is the end i'm just saying give an example of what the most high may have put his bounds at you know and he can't rule past that okay. you know even with Jake, Jake had a, a, a period of rule for a thousand years. Yeah, right. But when it came, when it came to that point, the Most High took him out of power. Right. Well, well, well the scriptures in um, Daniel chapter two and chapter seven, right? Daniel two, Daniel perceived the image. He went and go quiet the Lord 
to make the dream known unto Nebuchadnezzar because what? Right. The Chaldeans, the astrologers, and the, uh, the, the, you know, the enchanters, they weren't able to uh, break that dream down. Right. And Nebuchadnezzar said, if you can't interpret this dream, I'm going to put you to death. But Daniel went to go and cry on the Lord because, you know, Daniel was, you know, in, you know, he was in Babylon, you know. So guess what? He went, he went, you know, and inquired the Lord, and the Lord gave him interpretation. Okay, it was the, the head of gold, the breastplate of, of, of uh, what was it, brass, silver, or silver. Then the, the the waist area, brass. The 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 um the legs were iron. The feet was iron mixed with clay. Right. So we know we at the bottom. We at the feet, the toes, and the rock. The the rock. That would come smoke the image was Yahweh Shai. That's already been written from the beginning. So yeah, that's 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 what I said from from the jump. Like the most high let it known the end from the beginning. Yep. Yeah. You see? And and he's giving these secrets unto his servants, the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. It's mouthpiece on this planet, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how you know that we're not speaking our own words, because we speaking exactly what the playbook of the most high right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. This had nothing to do with emotions, feelings. You know, this 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 is the Lord's word, man. And that's hey, as it is, man, it's going to come to pass. Right. I'm gonna bring this out real quick. This is Daniel two and thirty. Okay, like the brother brought out. Okay, Daniel was put in front of King Nebuchadnezzar to reveal the secret of his dream concerning the statue, right? And this is what Daniel said to the, you know, King Nebuchadnezzar. It said, Daniel 2 and 30, it says, But as for me, this secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any, more than any living. Okay, so he telling you right there. I'm no, I'm not no special than no other man. You see, you see? this is why, why, why he said that. It says, but for their sakes that shall make known the inter interpretation to the king and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart, right? Okay, so he basically telling the king like, yo, man, I don't, I, you know, I'm not no special uh, 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 um, person more than any, any other person on this planet, but the most high, okay, he chose to give me revelation. Okay, and that's what he's done for his prophets. He gave them revelation. Because there's a lot of dark sayings in this book. Okay? And most people, even your Christian pastors and scholars, aren't able to break this these scriptures down, man. But the men of Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, have done the work and broke it down to us from the Rechakwadash, man. Okay? And here we are, men, also with understanding, on the streets, on these uh, uh, pistols, breaking it down to you to hopefully like, man. Right. As you should. You know, as you should. Once you get to a certain level in this truth, man, you got to be out here, man. You got to be out here. You got to get like the brother said earlier. You got to get out here, man. First of all, you got to put the world off, man. You got to right. just know. You got you to gotta know that. You got to forsake this world, man, because... Ain't shit here for us, man. Right. This, this world is getting ready to pass away like you brought out. He saw the end of the world, man. Ain't nothing out here to live for, man. Right. This truth is everything, man. You know, you have this truth, you have everything, man. You got it. So, so, you know, I'm gonna bring this out. The first, one of the first steps, you know, to understanding and gaining, you know, wisdom and understanding of, of this truth, right? You got to humble yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Second Ezra um, 14 and 34 says, Therefore, if so, be that you will subdue your own understanding. Now that word subdue, okay, meaning to press down, meaning to put in the back burner, just, you know, disregard your understanding, your own understanding, okay? Because men have understanding according to their feelings and you know what they think okay their their vain opinion i got that word real uh, so do kind all right this will do online overcome quietening mm -hmm. or being under control mm -hmm. a feeling 
a feeling or person, okay? And synonyms, let me see, master, you have to master your, your having control of right. yourself. You have to know that your knowledge is not above your high by shot. That's right, that's right. So you have to work on, that's why when you, the first thing you learn before you even come into this truth is that you don't know, hey, you don't really know nothing. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> okay? Elder Apostle said, said uh, uh, Apostle Taha said all the time. All, all three of the apostles say it all the time, man. Uh, uh, you got two ears and one mouth. Right. You can't listen and learn and, and get this truth if you're always talking. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You can't. It's not possible. You got to shut the fuck up and listen for a long time for you to soak this thing in, man. What did it say? A fool utter, you know, anything, you know, basically a fool utter everything that come to his mind. Right. So he only, a fool don't even know when he's right or wrong. He don't even know, hey, that's embarrassing right. to run your mouth and you don't even know what's going on. Hey, it also says a, a wise fool, okay, shuts his mouth when he's around men with understanding, okay, because guess what? He don't know shit. Hey, what well, the scripture also say, use not many words in the multitude of the elders, man. When your elders around, you don't, you, hey, you there to learn. Okay, say a, a fool is kind of wise when he uh, speak not much. Mm -hmm. When you stand there with uh, somebody just running their mouth all the time. Right. Hey, you you don't even know, you don't, hey, hey, that's embarrassing, man. Exactly. But if you, you wise when you sit back and observe. Right. You know, it make people pay attention to you anyway. When you just lay back in the cut, don't have nothing to say. They want to ask you, they, they want to, you know, brain the brain the conversation out. Yeah. What you think? What right. you think? Right. But when you're in the multitude of the elders, hey man, you like the brother said, man, shut the hell up, man, and learn. And then you'll realize, dang man, if I hadn't, if I would have, you know, walked off or ran my mouth, or did you would have, hey, because a lot of people miss this thing, but they don't understand your life is on the line. You miss it, man. A lot of people walk up to the couch thinking that they know something because they don't learn some weird ass knowledge or doctrine that has nothing to do with the truth. You know what I'm saying? It has nothing to do with the truth, but then when you hear the words coming out of their mouth, they bug the hell out. Hey man, a, a lot of y'all be reading the books like Book of Enoch, Book of, you know, Jasher, Jubilees, and think y'all uh, have some, Mormons, Book of you know, y'all have some uh, newfound knowledge that, you know, the scriptures don't contain. Right. But y'all are being deceived, man. Right. Those books are written, you know, to deceive y'all, man. And, and it's obvious there's things in that in those books that's contradicting against the scriptures. And the scriptures don't back those those books up, man. They go off, you know. You know. So you gotta be like the brother read. So do your un, your own understanding and learn the right way. You know what I'm saying? These brothers, you know, we ain't out here on the uh, on the streets with these garments, you know, teaching our own message. We got the highest uh, uh, mission that comes from the most high, the high Okay? So, hey, that, that word say to overcome, to bring under control a feeling or a person. Hey, and guess what? You got to subdue uh, uh, your, your own spirit, man. You know, certain things we got to get, we got to suppress as far as our appetite, man. Right. You know, you know whether it's women or food or whatever you overindulge in, you got to suppress that. You got to bring your, your your flesh under subjection. Kind. You know, like the brother said, you got to bring your flesh under subjection sometimes. Hey, that means food. You know, you got to fast sometimes. You know what I mean? That's how Yahweh Shai, you know, was able to uh, um, endure temptation. When he went into the wilderness, Right? He had endured temptation 40 days, you know what I'm saying, without food. That, hey man, that's a feat, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all can't even get past the of atonement right. without eating or drinking something. 40 days, man. 40 days. And after that, what? He said if he was in hunger and thirsty, and then the devil came and tried to tempt him. And he was able to endure spiritually and tell them get the hell on. Mm -hmm. You see? So you gotta endure by training yourself, okay? Practicing to subdue 
your spirit, your uh, your flesh, man. Mm -hmm. and, and one way to do that, to subdue the flesh, is to fast. Yeah. Fast, pray, you know what I'm saying? Not just from food, you know, watching TV, man. You gotta cut that shit out. Or listen, cut music out for, for you know what I'm saying, a, a couple weeks. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just listen to the spirit when you, you know, when you alone, man, meditate, man. Sure. Hey, this is the book of Romans 8 and 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Amashiach Yahweh Shai, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Okay. So, break that down. The scriptures tell you walk not after the flesh. Okay. There's a scripture that says what? You gotta mortify your flesh daily, right? Because yeah. the flesh will lead you off, man. The flesh will get you to trust in your own vain opinion. The flesh will get you to come up and scoff after the man of the, of the most high, right? And the, the, the flesh will lead you to your own destruction, man. Okay? But you gotta subdue the flesh to tap into the spirit, okay? To gain the knowledge that you need to make it, okay, to receive salvation, man, Lord willing, man. Yeah, we are of those men. Yeah, I got you more on 13. Yeah. We're still down to 13. Well, if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. Mm. But if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live, you know? So you have to mortify the deeds of your flesh. Let's get that word mortify them. Uh, Thinatos mm -hmm. in the Greek, okay, and it means to put to death, put to, death. to kill, to make, to die, to destroy, to render extinct, by death to be liberated from the bonds of anything. Right. So you got to kill that old man. You got to kill that flesh lust from the you bonds of, of of sin, transgressions, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, the scriptures say, don't let your transgressions weigh you down. Right. You know. Because that's what it does, man. Yeah. It make you not, you know, not want to seek after the most high. Yeah. You just want to do iniquity constantly. Mm -hmm. But if you seek after the flesh and repent, you know, that that's a, the scriptures say, seek him 10,000 times harder. Mm -hmm. You know, now that you know who you are and know that the truth, you got to seek him, go after him harder, man. Yeah, why? Because, hey, things are about to get hella real in America. It's about to go down, man, very soon. Like the brothers spoke about yesterday when we were doing the shit down. Hey, man, we've been, we've been seeing military tanks move, okay? All right? You, you, you're seeing that a homeless rate increase. Right. Everything is going up. World War Three is brewing up. Right. That's reason enough to, pr to pray constantly. Pray, right. What the scripture say? Pray without ceasing. Okay, so prayer is a major thing, man. Because you can know all the knowledge in the world, but are you connecting with the higher power? Man? Hey, you, because yeah. prayer is our weapon, man. It's our call for help. See, that lifeline is prayer, man. What else we got? We don't own no swords mm -hmm. that we can, you know, defeat our enemies with, man. All we got is that prayer. These scriptures. You see? The Rakakwadash, man. That's what we got. And we gotta heavily rely on that, man. Otherwise, we get defeated, man. We can't go into the enemy's arena using his weapons. Mm -hmm. uh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds, man. Yeah, I gotta preach. God. This Psalms 34 and 4. I sought the Lord Yahweh and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Okay? So guess what? The, hey, David was constantly praying to Yahweh about you know, so. And the Lord is going to hear your cry, man. You know, if you believe in him, man, if you're part of that number. Right? So we got to pray, man, like hell, man. You know? Because we get ready to enter some, some times that the two thirds don't really understand. They don't understand what time we're in right now. Okay? The prophecies speak about the pale horse. 
you know, I believe that's Revelation 6. All right, well, things are going to get ugly out here, man. You're going to need the Lord. That's why you say the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It's a defense. Psalms 91, okay? We need that covering of your how about shooting our shot, you know? And guess what, man? The part, having a name is a part, hey, 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 that's a part of some brothers going to be delivered, man. When 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 Esau start uh, uh, pushing these guillotines, sticking people under them guillotines, some brothers are going to be sacrificed, and that's the walk they got to go through. With a lot. Hey, some brothers are going to be the delivered. Some brothers are going to be delivered out of there, man. You know, because they, hey, they, they fed their spirit this word and constantly going out, being obedient to the Heavenly Father, man. So you're going to need that name, man. You know? Nah, I got to reset this quick. You know, because, you know, what, uh, David was well versed in prayer, man. And, and also, he had plenty of trouble to pray against. Know, to receive the kind of help and deliverance that he had, right? This is Psalms 3 and, and 3. It says, But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up, the lifter up of mine head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill. Okay? I laid me down and slept. I wake for the Lord, Yahweh, Ooh. by Simeon, how I sustained me. Mm. Okay? He kept me. He protected me, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a lot of y'all going to need the Lord's help, man. Yeah. But in this call, time of trouble. Right, but you calling on these false gods, man. You call, hey, a lot of you attached to these satanic religions. You know? If I, some of you know the scriptures, but you still calling on JC. JC. You know? <laughs> you know, some of you know you Israelites, man, and you refuse to accept that Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai is the name. And we tell you the prophet with the true prophet, starting with the elders of Great Millstone, right. apostles on down. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to be left without excuse because of this, you know, we tell you, we, 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 hey, we don't say that we have 100% truth for no reason. We say that because, hey, we, we not, not only that we it was given by our own heart, but we also believe in it, man. We know it. Hey, we research, man. Okay? So you're going to need that name to call on, man, because the enemy going to come in like a flood. He's going to come in like a flood, man. One day these streets, these uh, soldiers are going to be moving through these streets, going and snatching up people, man. Snatching women out the house and children with no mercy. Okay? This, this, this devil about to get bloody, man. Clean up, man, with no mercy. All right, that spirit of, 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 of Satan is on him, man. This devil getting ready to get real bloody, man. So it's not going to be no joke, man. It ain't going to be no game. Okay? They already got people exposed in the concentration camp with barbed wire around the fence. Okay? Set up like a prison in the middle of nowhere. Hey, what you think Esau going to be doing in there? Torturing Israelites. T torturing people, man. You know? So you're going to need the name of the Lord, man. It's about to get real grimy out here, man. Very soon. You got something? Yeah, I got a quick, quick uh, scripture, okay? Because a lot of y'all don't think the Lord will put you out of death, man. You know? A lot of y'all don't don't fear the, the most high, man. Yeah. Hey, you you supposed to fear the Lord your power, man. Yeah. Okay? This is uh, 2 Ezra 15, and uh, I'm going to start at... 24 it says woe to them that sin and kept and keep not my commandment saith the lord i will not spare them okay it says go your way ye children from the power defile not my sanctuary okay for the lord knoweth all them that sin against him and therefore delivereth he them to unto death and destruction hmm. okay so the most high tell you right there he'll deliver you to death and destruction now we know esau is synonymous with death it tell you in the book of habakkuk is he is as death right okay he's the angel of death really the most high is really using him you know on this 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 planet 
to put a lot of y'all two thirds to death, man. He can't. He say he was given a great sword. He don't. He don't wield the sword just for nothing. Okay. Yeah. I got appreciate. Appreciate. appreciate yeah. This is Amos nine and ten. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. And that's how a lot of you speak. As if the, the judgment of the uh, the heavenly Father not going to rest upon you, right? All right, all right. Like we bring, been bringing out, man. A lot of you jakes, man. Y'all go through them freak accidents. You get shot up at parties and clubs and shit. Who you think doing it? Mm -hmm. That's the heavenly Father doing it, man. He's setting your mind up to get ready to go party and dance <laughs> with your, with your knife his own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Guess what? It got got a, got a nigga in the, in the back with his hat down low. You know. With death on his mind, man. Put right. your ass to death, all right? Hey, the scriptures speak about the death angels, man. You know, the Lord's seeking them death angels on, 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 the, on the majority of you Israelites, man. Right. That's why he said he going to start with the Israelites first, man. He going to start putting you to death first. He start, yeah, yeah, he going to start at his house, man. Okay, because why? You love sin. And we're telling you, this shit about to go down very soon, man. You want to be closer to the Lord, man. You want to be under his protection, right? But a lot of you ignore us, go back and get the party, like ain't nothing gonna happen. Yeah. Hey, the scriptures say, man, hey, they, 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 uh, they say the evil would not overtake us. Right. Man, you hear that same conversation today. Oh, man, we've been hearing that for so long. Right. They've been saying that for years. Ain't nothing happened yet. Okay? But the Lord's sitting there watching your ass, man. The Lord's setting you up for a perfect situation, man. Hey, that's why we're saying repent and be converted. Okay, that your sin may be blotted out, man. We in the time of Jacob's trouble. The Lord is judging, man. And a lot of those judgments are coming quick, man. You know? All right? I got another piece. You got something? No, go ahead. All right? This is 2 Ezra 8 and 55. And therefore, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. And that's going into the two-thirds, man. Okay? The Lord said what? Two-thirds of our people shall be cut off and they shall die because they reject the word of the Lord. They, you know, our people should die without knowledge. Our people are destroyed for nothing knowledge, right? They don't understand that the Lord is behind these devils. The Lord has the power to put you, to bring you on the earth and take you out. Like your mama said, I brought you in this word and I take you out. That's the Lord, man. That's the Lord, man. All right, verse 56. But when they had taken liberty, but when they had take, taken liberty, they despised the most high. Though scorn, right, thought scorn of his law and forsook his way. Okay? The law is for the Israelites, man. You know? The law is for the wicked, man, so they can get their acne go. But a lot of you reject the most night you talk. You speak up, you know, speak up against the Israelites, man. Okay, we hear those little, uh, the, the, you know, we look at the comic board when brothers do videos. Jake is spewing his mindset, his heart, and what he really feels on the inside. When you marking yourself, man, when you come up against the truth, you marking yourself. Right. Okay? Not realizing you got liberty to, to repent and change your life around. You know, put them blunts down, man. Stop sleeping with another man's wife. Okay? All of that is going to contribute to your death. The wages of sin is death. The more you sin, right, with no with no, with no heart to repent, no conscience to turn away, man. A lot of you are very bold, you know, and, and froward in your beliefs, man, thinking that ain't nothing going to happen to you because you're getting away with it. But the Lord is slow, is long suffering. The Lord is patient. Right? He possessed these things, man. He gives you a chance. That's why when this shit pop off, you know, the, 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 the enemy start moving through these streets and we start hearing about these gruesome deaths. When I heads are rolling, say that, yeah, we ain't gonna, gonna feel bad. Feel We're gonna drink wine. Cause some of you niggas are grinding, man. A lot of you niggas are grinding. We're gonna, hey, there's gonna come a time where we're gonna see your head rolling down the street. Cause Esau don't give a damn about you. It's best that the Lord corrects you than the, than the Edomites. All right. Then your enemy, any of your enemies, because they plan to wipe you out, man. Even though they don't have that type of power to get rid of all of us, 
that's what's in their mind. They want to wipe you out, man. Get rid of you. Get you off the earth. They want to uh, uh, exterminate the seed line, man. They want to cut the name off, man. We supposed to be crying out to the Lord right now. All right. They say for when they when they yet had liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of His law and forsook His ways. Moreover, they have trotted down His righteousness. And look at the world today, man. It's, it's saying you go downtown the streets of Atlanta, you can sin is, is committed without thinking about it. That's what's on of these people's mind. It's sin and lust. Okay? But the Lord is coming. Can I get Zachariah to come to you? Hey, that's, that's, hey, the Lord is in the mind to do what? Destroy this, the, 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 the majority of the people on this earth. So his son, Yahweh Shah, can come back and get his throne and set up the earth in righteousness. So, hey, repent should be on your mind, man. Bring it up. This is Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, yep. but the third shall be left therein. All right, that's what 66.6 .6 of you Israelites are going to get put to death right here in Babylon, man, in gruesome ways. That's already written, man, mm -hmm. you know, for your rebellion, your sin, fro with people. Hey, the Lord said that, man. And um, uh, Deuteronomy, I believe it's eight or nine. It's a stiff neck people, right? You know, our people don't want to turn away from this. They love what they're doing. The same spirit of the Israelites during the time of Moses. That's the same spirit they in now, man. Right. They doing they coming against the heavenly father prophets. And a lot of you are responsible for killing the prophets, man, right? You know, so the Lord is coming with those judgments, man. Well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, second is uh, second. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, one. Now, nah, um, we we'll say that many more than parents. Yeah, 9 and 15. Yep. You started at 1. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then mm -hmm. and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. Meaning watch for the prophecy. Watch for the sign. Because we're at the end. We're in the two. We're in the, we're in the, we're at the end of the feet where the toes mixed with the mire and clay. So these are the things that's going to happen before the Son of the Most High return, man. All right, God. Answer, he answered me and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the, time, the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Hey, so it ain't going to be no other... No other 20, 50 or 20, you know, all these weird numbers that they think that their rulership is going to go past. Right. You know? Why? Because we're seeing the signs today. Right. The signs are, 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 the prophecies are speaking. The elder rightfully named this uh, the hopeful year that all prophecies come to pass, man. And he, and guess what? Since he said that, there's been a lot of things popping off. Seems like it's, it starts speeding up, up, man. And that's, that's him shutting down Babylon. That's a part of him shutting this place down, man. Right? You know, you got it. Uh, verse 3. Therefore, when, the, when there shall be seen earthquakes, right. okay, and uproars of the people in right. the world, right. then, thou shalt, then thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Right. Okay, that's you know, that's what we was talking about earlier. That the most high tells you to end from the beginning. Yep. He said what? I declare the thing before it even happened, yep. right? Yep. You see? So this is just confirmation 
that the Most High revealed all the secrets to his prophets, yeah, yeah. okay? And we come out here to tell you, okay, thus saith the Lord. I got that scripture for you real quick. Before you go. It's Isaiah 46 and 9. Remember the things of old. For I am the most high, there is none else. I am the most high, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done. The okay. things that are not yet done. Okay? That's how we know what the statue in Daniel yeah. is talking about. And when the toes got struck by that the, uh, the, the rock, man, the stone. Right. Okay, and we know the stone is talking about Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, so all these kingdoms, okay, are about to come to an end. It's about to come to an end because why? Israel's about to rule. Okay, yep. Moab don't have next. Right. Ammon don't have next. They already had their part. Right. Okay, now it's time for the Israelites to rule. Right. right. Okay, says, Esau's time is about to come to an end. Yep. It and said Jacob is the beginning. It say no other nation. Right. You know, Esau's time is coming to an end, right? Right quick. You know what I'm saying? And Esau has to be ruling at the end because what? We know the earth is being given into the hands of the wicked. Okay? And how we know, how else we know? He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Why is Yahweh's side painted white? Long hair down his shoulders, you know. Why is Cesare Borgia? Okay, so rappers Christmas. Why? Cause we at the end. That's that's a sign at the end. Yep. That's gonna happen. Yeah. Yep. Come. Are right, you gonna keep going on that? Yeah, you can. Come. Okay. Verse five. For like as. As all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah. Okay, when you see revelations, okay, talking about the karagma, yeah. and the karagma is revealed through the spirit, okay, and the karagma is being pushed. It's being manifested right now. That's it being manifest. Yeah. The okay? only thing left to do is not for them to roll it out. Roll it out. And mandated. Yeah. Okay, Which, there's, there's two major prophecies we're looking for. Mm -hmm. The Karagma, World War Three, And you see both of them is approaching fastly. Yeah. At the same time, simultaneously. Because yeah. pretty much everything else, it, 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 you, you can see it's coming. Yeah. It's culminating, you know what I'm saying? What, World War Three, the Karagma, race wars, mm -hmm. famine, you know, earthquakes, uproars of the people. Yeah. All this is happening, okay, little by little. If you have the Rakak with Dash, man, it's not hard to see. It's not hard to see, right? What? It's not. Unless you got your 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 head in the freaking ground or somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you out there like the brother said, party. You know what I mean? Doing the duggy somewhere. That's <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, verse six. Even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works. Right. And endings in effects and signs. Right. There's signs and effects that be happening in the cosmos. You right. Know, effects, you know, blood moon. Blue moon, blood yep. moon, you know, the eclipses. Yep. Right? Yeah. And we seen, okay. we've seen the chariots of the most high. Everywhere now. Yeah. Everybody's seen them. Right. Because they own what? They own the internet now. Right. So you don't have no excuses. Right. Hey, you saying the UFO talk. Hey, they got a space force. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. having more conversation <laughs> about the, uh, the, U, the UFOs more than ever, man. Because we done did that. Hey, these Edomites are terrified of the UFOs, man. They afraid, man. They afraid of the uh, UFOs, man. But they've been having more of the radio. Hey, I've been listening to the radio, and <laughs> they've been they be doing chants against the UFOs because they know something is about to come and subdue their ass. Right. That's what they know. Right. Guess what? That's the Heavenly Father and the multitude of the angels. That's the host of heaven getting ready to come back. The 
people that you don't kick down and harm the trees and beat them. Guess what? That's our power that's coming back to the street. Oh, yeah, and that's what they're afraid of, man. You know? Hey, that's that's you Esau's got. worst nightmare. A so-called Negro <laughs> coming out of spaceship, yeah. right? He, 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 that's one of his worst nightmares, man. He, he can't, he can't, he can't do nothing against that. No. That's a heavenly power, man. Yeah. You no. Know? Hey, because hey, one, hey, once them, uh, them chariots come and the Most High come back and the host of heaven come with them, man, that's that's hey, that's your night, Esau. Hey, you going right. into captivity? Right. You going into captivity, man? So and then you got curtain. Yeah. How they would say it. It's curtains for you, bro. Yep. <laughs> you're going into captivity, man. You're going to lose it all. All right? Hey, you're going into captivity for a thousand years, man. That's why they're afraid, man. You know? That's why they say let the rocks fall on them. At least know your house is going to come back. You know? Good. You got your key on. All right. Second uh, Ezra 9 and 7. It says, and everyone... That, that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. What? Yeah. We gotta have works gotta to have escape. That work. That's right. What? Gotta have the work. <laughs> and by faith. Right. Ooh. Two works and faith. Yeah. I thought we ain't had to have works. We, we wasn't supposed to. We, all, you can, you, you, all you need is faith, right? Yeah, right. when Paul, well, hey. Apostle Paul said what? Faith and works. Hey, that's what you computed. Faith like. without works is dead, dead. right? Yep. Like the brother said, y'all keyboard prophets want to stay behind the keyboard and prophesy behind the keyboard, though, but y'all don't want to come out and do these, these, these epistles, man. Right. When it get cold, man, guess what? It's going to be less brothers out. Right. You know, less brothers out. Making excuses not to come out. You gotta have that faith, man. The scripture said, "Come out, be instant in season and out of season, man." So no matter what the weather is, you still gotta get out there. Man. Hey, you that, and if you really have faith, you know, so, hey, you gonna you gonna want to jump up and, and come and come beside, man. If you got the faith, you know, right. you gonna want to do the work, man. Your faith will cause you to want to do the work. You yeah. see, not the other way around, to where you know your faith is. Think your faith is just enough. You ain't got to do no works, but the scriptures say otherwise, right here. Okay, I'm gonna read that again. Second Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Hmm. Right? If you believe, you're gonna do some work. Yeah. Okay. Verse verse 9 say um verse 8 says shall be preserved from the said perils okay jacob's trouble okay and see my salvation in my land Ooh, what he say see my salvation who is the salvation who is the salvation of the hebrew israelites okay yahweh shy man the only begotten son right it says, I got uh, a for this. Con, go ahead, bro. All right, this, uh, yeah, let me get it. Let me get it real quick. And this is uh, the book of Matthew 24 and 31. Okay. It say, I'm going to start up at 29. Verse 29. Okay. Yahweh Shah is the salvation. Okay. That's what his name means. He delivers. To deliver who? The elect. Right. Okay. Uh, Matthew 24, 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the power of the heaven shall be shaken. What is that going into? What is that talking about? When have you ever heard a Christian church saying that the, the, uh, the, 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 the kings from the east going to shoot their missiles on Babylon? You know, that's talking about the ICBM missile. What a lot of y'all don't realize that the missiles are a creation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right. Through the enemy, man. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he gave that blueprint to Esau, man, to create an instrument for his work. 
to destroy the masses of people, which he did it before during the time of Noah. Okay, so it's nothing for the Lord to put that infrastructure in the mind of Esau to destroy the majority of the people. Okay, so that's that's prophecy. Okay, and they say then and then shall the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which that's another title for Yahweh, the Son of Man. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud of heaven with power and great glory. You know, verse 31. Amen. So when the Most High show up, man, hey, when the Most High show up, Hey, it's gonna be he's gonna come back with great power and great glory. So hey, that's that's not that's gonna be a sight to see, man. A lot of people, hey man, a lot of people not gonna be able to handle that, man. A lot of you gonna catch a heart attack. Alright? And he say he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. Okay? And then and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. You see that? So the Lord, hey, going to what? Going to fill the sky with his chariots. The chariots are spoken of through the script, all throughout the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? From the beginning of time. Chariots always been around. Right. Okay? That's going to show up in the last days, man. Yeah. Right. This is 2nd Ezra uh, 9. 9 and 8. It says, Shall be preserved. Okay, from the said perils and see my salvation in my land and within my borders. Okay, he's talking about Israel. Okay, the, the Israel is a people before it's a place, right? Within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Uh, what? From okay, the beginning. from the beginning, man. Right. When, it, when, when, when the scriptures say you knew this knowledge from the beginning, okay, in, in, in the book of John, okay, these are they that yeah. he was talking about. Yeah. We, you know, Lord willing, I'm of of, of, I'm of a, those men, but, you know, the elect was with Yahweh's side from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're able to remember themselves right. in the land of their captivity, right? Okay. I'm going to read that again. It says, 2nd Ezra, verse 9 and 9. It says, Then shall... Oh, 2nd Ezra, 9 and 8. Shall be preserved from said perils and see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Okay? And that word sanctified meaning made holy set apart right that's what the elect is okay set apart made holy okay we are to uh what is it micah 2 and 10 that says uh, uh um come out of her no that's, that's revelation um said come out of her my people right come out of her yeah come out of babylon the daughter of the chaldeans man right. That great whore, man. Yeah. And that's 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 spiritual first. First. You know, spiritual first, man, until we get out of here on the chair. Spiritual meaning, don't eat that 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 the five food, man. Eat off that wicked place. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe in these philosophies and, and all these doctrines, false doctrines, man. Don't call on the name the false names, man. Right. Don't take it, don't partake. In the customs of Babylon, the wickedness of right. Babylon, man. all that gay pride shit, all that Beyonce tattoos, and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? None of that shit, man. That we, shit is worldly and it's filthy. You know, it, it, it is like the brother brought out. The wages of sin is yeah. death. Yeah. Okay, and if you don't know what wages are, it's payback. It's paid. Pay You're paid. Okay, when you go to your employer, he pay you a weekly or, or daily salary. Okay, that's called your wages, yeah. your daily wages. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's what Yahweh Sai said in Revelations. I'm going to reward to pay, okay, every man according to their works. I got a uh, Jew one and five. 
I will therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this. So hey, like the brother said, hey, let had this knowledge from the beginning. And that's what he's going to return this knowledge back to. You know? All right? I would therefore put you in remembrance, though you once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterwards destroyed them that believed not. And the rest of you Israelites, the most of you, you're, you're a bunch of unbelievers. Where the knowledge was with the elect from the beginning, before the foundation of the earth. Right? You know, Yahweh Shah was with Yahweh from the beginning before the earth was even formed. Right. And that's another uh, you know, that's 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 a uh, spiritual understanding that what? The majority of the multitude don't know. You know? You give me song, I mean give me Sirach 24 real quick. Hey, they don't understand that. Yahweh Shah been with Yahweh from the beginning. And those spirits was created, was given to Yahweh Shah. Which these are the same spirits that's gonna be ruling in the kingdom. With Yahweh Shah. Hey, we're gonna possess an inheritance with our big brother, our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Okay? And that's how the whole earth is gonna come back into being righteous. Okay? But the majority of you, man, you're not gonna make it on the other side because of your rebellion. But let me prove this real quick. You can bring it out. So 24 and 1 started one. The Sirach 24 and 1 says, Wisdom shall praise herself and shall glory in the midst of her people. In the congregation of the Most High shall she open her mouth and triumph before his power. Mm. Verse 3, I came out of her mouth. I, I came out of the mouth of the Most High. See that? That's the first creation. Yahweh Shah came out of the mouth of, uh, of Yahweh. He came out of the mouth of uh, Yahweh. Right. Which means he's the first spirit created. Man. All right, read on. Okay. I came out of his, uh, out of the mouth of, of her mouth. I came out of the mouth of the Most High. Right. And covered the earth as a cloud. Right. I dwelt in high places and my throne is, is in the a cloudy pillar. Right. I alone comp encompassed the circuit of heaven and walked in in the in the bottom of the deep, mm -hmm. in the waves of the sea, and in all the earth, mm -hmm. and in every people and, and nation. I got a possession. The Lord got a possession in all, uh, every nation. Okay. Keep reading on that. Showing you that Yahweh Shai was from the beginning with the Lord Yahweh before the earth was even born. You got it. These things was already written. Okay, you got it. Verse 7. With all these I sought rest, and in worse, and, and in whose inheritance shall I, I abide? That's a question. In whose inheritance shall I abide? Read on. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment. Right. And he that made me cause my tabernacle to rest and said, let thy dwelling be in Jacob. That's from the beginning of time before the earth was even formed. Let thy dwelling be in what? And who? Jacob. In Jacob. So Jacob, hey, is the lot of the most high inheritance, man. And that was my inheritance in Israel. Ooh, from the beginning. That was said with, <laughs> this was Solomon right here. Mm. Before he, you know, before the earth was even formed, this was already declared. You got to keep going on it. Verse 8. So the creator of all things gave me a commandment, and he made he that made me caused my tabernacle to rest right. and said, Let thy dwelling be in Jacob mm. and thy inheritance in Israel. Right. He created me from the beginning. From what? From the beginning. From the beginning. Before the world, Ooh. and I shall never fail. Alright. So he was created before the world. Mm -hmm. He was with you That's straight up. Yeah, I was shot right there. Right. You know, he was created before the world. Hey, he's the first fruit. And these spirits, the 144,000, is going to be with him. That's the holy city that John the Revelator saw come out of the sky. Right. They're going to be in, they're going to be joining to your house, shall we? Right. To get this earth back in proper context, man. The whole earth is out of course, man. Too much wickedness going on here, man. And guess what? You saw the, hey, you're going to lose your thing the same way you got it. Violence. Yeah. Oh, you got something?
Nah, which one? Uh, Revelations, I believe it's 18. What you say with this? What you say That's take up a millstone? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to lose it, man. Look at the, look what you did. You, hey, see, that's the thing about you Edomites, man. That's another thing that's going on this for a little minute. You believe in justice, right, when it happens to your people. But in the rest of the people, you don't worry, you don't care. You don't worry. Yeah, you don't, you don't, put that same ideology don't pertain to the rest of the people. You only believe in justice, right? You only want to do something about it when it's affecting your people. But look at all these people you done slaughtered to get the land and resources and riches you got today. The, the most high gonna knock all that back up, man. You're gonna have to spew all that back up. You know? So hey, the most high, hey, the same way you got this kingdom, you know, is the same way you're gonna lose it. You got it. Hey, the scriptures say he stored riches, okay, for the end, right? He store you storing it up for us, really. Right. Cause we the real uh 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 we the real uh custodians of the earth, man. Yeah, that's right. Okay. This is Revelations 18. It says, After these things I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Right. And he cried a mighty, he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, right. is fallen, and is become the habitations of devils, right. and, ho and the whole of every foul spirit and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Why? Because wild birds are going to fly over here. Man. Right. You know, unclean birds are going to be here when they uh, eat on their flesh, man. Dragons. When the bombs go, yeah. You know, this going to be this going to be places in the desert. Mm -hmm. You know, like 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 a a a, 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 a place that, what do you say where no one, no man dwell. Yeah. You know. Yes, we do. Yeah. Right. For it says verse three says. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, right. that ye be not partakers of her sins, right. and that ye receive not of her plague. What's kind of, what that plague is? That fire, man. Zechariah 14, what is it? 14 and 12? The plague, these are the plagues. You can hold that and get that real quick. Hey, the Lord gonna light this, light this motherfucker on fire, man. That's the plague that it's gonna get. The ultimate plague is gonna be the missiles shot on this place, man. And hey, and, and the Lord's people gonna get beamed up out of here on, 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 on chariots, man. The chariots of Israel is spoken through the books of King. You know, Elijah was taken up in one of them, Elisha, okay? And guess what? The elect is gonna be delivered out of here with them glorious chariots, man. In a fashionable sense, man. We're gonna be delivered out of here, man. You know, feet coming up off the ground. You know, y'all gonna see Nikes at the bottom of all. Y'all gonna see that logo <laughs> Nike. <laughs> you got it, boy. You got it, huh? You keep going Revelation. Yeah, well, it say it with dust with violence. Yeah. You know? All right. It says, verse 5, For her sins have reached unto, the, unto heaven, right. and the Most High have remembered her iniquity. So you got a lot of blood on your hand, your transgression is great in the sight of Yahweh by Shemuel mm -hmm. So nobody can deliver Esau, no matter how much you friends with him, and no matter how much you love him, you can't save him. From the judgment, Shapat, Yahweh Shapat. You can't save him from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh judgment. Right. He's gonna get what he deserved. Just like we got what we deserved. Right. Slavery is what we had to endure. Our families being ripped from us, hung from trees, you know. Hey, <laughs> slavery was hey, this is the one of the worst captivities we ever been in. Right. If not the worst, the worst. The worst captivity we've right. been in. We, but it's oh, we you got, got ourselves. You know what I mean? The 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 the, the memory of ourselves, uh, the, our heritage was stripped from us, beaten yeah. out of us. Mm -hmm. You know, language is gone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we 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 in a worse case than we ever been. Yeah. Okay. And, and the scriptures say what? Though uh, though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. Right. Okay. Hey hey, and another thing, man. They all they had to do was lie on you. 
doing slavery. Even now. Hell, all you had to do was look at them wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And they, they want to put you to death. That's hey, right. Emmett Till whistled. Yeah. And he got, he got put got to dragged, death. Got dragged. Dragged. Got, they tied him to the back of a vehicle, man. And dragged him for miles, man. You know? So guess what? Hey, we had to endure that, man. Did not the scripture say in Isaiah 14, what is it, 14, 21? The children shall pay for the sins of their father. Compared is a slaughter for his, for his children. That happened to Jake, and it's going to happen to you devils, man. Y'all going to know what it is to have your children ripped from you and murdered right in front of you, man. You know, you got it. It says, it says, reward eat, reward her even as she rewarded you. Right. And double unto her, her double according to her works. Hey, double, man. Double slave. You know, double. Hey, everything is going to be double, man. Okay? So ain't no escaping your judgment, man. Right. Hey, what Esau doing? He's he, he trying to set up a way to escape, man, by right. setting up them underground bunkers. They got a way to try to escape in the, escape in the cosmos. Under the sea. Under the sea. They got uh, they got life under the sea where they create these tunnels. They got underground tunnels, man. All right? So this man got a plan to escape from your house by showing your house. The most high already called you out. And the you most know? high is going to allow them to go into those bunkers and those places of refuge because why? They are the first slaves, man. Right? He's going to preserve them so when the men, the elect men, fish them out. Well, you know, that's what the scriptures will say. Yep. But, uh, first I will uh, send fishers hunters. and then hunters. Those hunters are going to hunt them out of the holes and the rocks and, you know, the high places and the low places and bring them out and put them to work. Yeah, They're going to build our kingdom up and yep. all their seeds are going to work too. They're going to belong to us, man. All right, so just like you got bonds on our head and social security card, your children gonna belong to the Israelites. Man. Exactly. You got it. Okay. It says, you read six again. Revelation eighteen and six says, reward her, even as she rewarded you. Right. Double, double unto her, double according to her works. Right. In the cup which she shall, which she had filled, fill yeah. her double. Yeah. Okay. How much have she have glorified herself and lived deliciously? Okay. Yeah, America so, got riches from all over the world. Huh. They got ship uh, traders that, that bring in all their stuff, man. Merchants. Bring in all the yeah, ship merchants, man. That bring in all the pro hey, 90, 80, 99 percent of the things you see on are not even made in Babylon, right? So yeah, you 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 heaped up a lot of riches from these other countries, right? You stole a lot of stuff from these other countries, man. Okay? And guess what? That's why the scriptures say, what she have feel under you, feel under her, man. That's recompense. That Lord is all about recompense, Payback. man. Payback, man. Hey, whatever man uh, uh, sowed, that's what he shall reap. And you reap uh, uh, blood, you reap, uh, uh, you sold slavery, you sold a lot of blood in the earth. You know, you, you hey. That's Hey, that's heavy, right? You know, when you said that 98% of everything that we, you know, use or consume is made in another nation, right? So it promised me to look to see where this Bible was printed. Moab, the land of Moab, made in China. Printed in China, right here. Right. <laughs> printed up your own journey. <laughs> hey. You know? Hey, so yep, hey, 89% hey, of the stuff are not made in Babylon. Okay, this man got what, seven, 750, I believe, 750 military bases all over the world. And that's what you did to do what? Take the lands that you went to. You used that to take this land. Right. Okay, the Native American Removal Act, man. Yep. Where you went and, 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 and the, hey, you, you got out on the Northern Kingdom, man. Manifest destiny. Yeah. They got pictures of, 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 of the Feast of Thanksgiving, which a lot of you dumbass uh, Israelite niggas are still celebrating that too, man. You're going to buy the turkey, chop up the uh, uh, the turkey with the dressing, with the you know the uh, cranberry sauce. All of that is talking about putting your people to death. A great slaughter happened, man. A massacre. Right? The scriptures say, give me in numbers, what, 30, 35, and 33, man. 
That's what you saw. You saw them with wickedness and murder and bloodshed. And guess what? Your kingdom gonna go out the same way. Okay? Your people are gonna go out that way, man. Okay? That's the Lord having mercy on Jacob, thus said the Lord. You can't do nothing about that. You can't save these devils. Okay? Yeah, you gotta do your research, man. History aligns with the Holy Scripture. You know, hey, it line, it, it, hey, the, uh, the history aligns with the Bible, man. You can't even understand this Bible unless you go into history. You gotta go into language, okay, to get the interpretation. You know, because things, you can be lost in translation. The scriptures say things that are other in Hebrew have a different meaning than, than uh, any other language. Okay, you got it. It's Numbers 35 and 33. Yep. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, right. and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is said well, therein, who? but by the blood of him that said it. Okay, look at that. By him that shed the blood, man. Mm -hmm. And you saw you said a whole, you got uh, organ harvesting going on. You, you, hey, you got the, the, the devils, they, 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 they attack people who got uh, organ donors on their license. Right. White people that's in good standards. Right. They, right, they seek to, to put you to death. You really, you know, y'all Jakes are the ones, those are the organs they want. Yeah. Y'all got the best. The best shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got the, hey, the best shit. You got the best plot product on the block. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey, because you've been tailor made by the hell of the father. But guess what? These devils uh, put out a, a, a hit on you for your organs. All right? You got child sex trafficking. A lot of kids end up missing. They use for what? Sacrifice. Okay, so there's way too much good that's been shared in this land that you got to pay for. So the judgment that you're going to receive. You can't be delivered out of this, man. This is coming from the Almighty. This is coming from the, 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 the Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. Right. Can't no A, man. Just like when the Lord brought family upon the land during the time of, uh, what's up, the, the woman that cried out to the king. He said, what can I do with you? This 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 judgment is from the Lord. I right. can't do nothing about that. Right. right. So, I'm, hey, I'm every, under it too. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so this judge, that's why this kingdom, in order for us to receive the kingdom, hey, we don't have to. Hey, we don't have to suffer that, that that hardship too. You know, the Lord is. Hey, it's gonna get bad here, man. That, but guess what? So what it say? A fire on the on, on the on the right side. What it say? Water on the one side and a fire on the other side. What's up? Cause this man gotta go out. You gonna hey? When you, for him losing his kingdom, his war have to happen. Bloodshed have to go out with a bang. Yeah. You know, he's gonna try to take as many of y'all Israelites as he can. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he said, right, go out with a bang. Yep. Yeah, man. Hey, man, it's, hey, so Lord willing, you know, this camp will edify, you know, and the water you have by seeing our shop was coming out another week. Okay, Lord, Lord, uh, Lord willing to elect this edified, okay? We're going to leave off by saying what? Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah. All right. Amat Abai Babal. Mawat Abai Babal. Destroy Babylon, man.